Hey y'all, it's Dr. Tiffany. I hope you're doing well. In today's helping of awful sauce, uh, this is a news article that I found about a Tennessee woman that had to be um, had to take a six-hour ride in an ambulance to actually get an abortion. Um, why would this happen? Because uh, the woman happened to live in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and the closest place that actually could uh, see her and take care of her without it being some sort of illegal nine ways from Sunday was North Carolina. Um, and there's a whole lot of mountains in between Chattanooga and North Carolina. So, um, the reason that it had to happen was because the number one fetus had severe abnormalities incompatible with life, and number two, the mother was developing uh, preeclampsia, which is dangerously high blood pressure that can uh, lead to, during pregnancy, which can lead to seizures and all kinds of awfulness. Um, it's a, it is a, it's a medical emergency. So, uh, so that sounds like the mother's life's in danger, right? Hey, wait, Tiff, don't most of these laws have exceptions for those kind of things? Well, the thing is, is they do on paper. But Tennessee, Idaho, and North Dakota um, have what is called an affirmative defense part, meaning that there's not actually, a, you know, a, 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 a way to perform an abortion that's not illegal. The only thing you can do is perform it and then defend it in court. And if you, you did it in good faith that the mother's life was in danger, you'll be found not guilty. Um, so the doctors, in order to do that, they have to decide whether or not they want to be arrested for, for a felony. Which, by the way, in Tennessee, the penalty is 15 years. So um, also, uh, this hasn't gotten out much because in Tennessee, also a lot of employers are muzzling their OBGYNs and not allowing them to say these parts. So that's where I come in because I belong to nobody. I, nobody is my boss. I can say these things. So um, it seems that a large portion of the public says also that the docs should just take a stand and do it. Do you understand, y'all, what happens in prison? Like, would you understand what would happen if, say, I got sent to prison for doing something like this? First of all, do you really think they'd send me to the women's prison in the South? What do you think will happen to me in the men's prison? I have to choose whether or not I'm willing to endure those kinds of assaults if I were to have to face a law like this. We can't be the scapegoat for the world.